Hey, I'm Dylan, and this is Fulcrum and Four. Excited to share a couple new updates with you guys, specifically designed around getting bills and materials into the system faster, better tracking inventory and remnants on the shop floor, as well as getting data in quicker and better from the shop floor job tracking interface. One of our current goals is to make it easier and faster to build items inside of Fulcrum. To do this, we've built an AI tool that can look at a PDF and build a bill material for you automatically. To use this feature while making a quote, you can navigate towards Add Other, click on Upload Item Bomb, and then you can go ahead and drag and drop your PDF into Fulcrum. It should take a couple seconds to render, but once it does, it'll then parse out the bill materials for you automatically. From here, you can make any changes that you need to on quantity, descriptions, item numbers, or item names as well. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and click Import. Now it's gonna pull that item into the quote and you can make any changes you need to to the routing steps, add in any cycle times, any notes to the operators on the floor, and then get your quote sent out to your customer. Up next, we're gonna talk about materials. The way raw materials today are stored inside a fulcrum on a bill material, like steel, doesn't always reflect how our users think about using them at their shop. For example, when making a quote, you might have an idea of what type of steel you're gonna use, but the exact piece you're gonna use and the length of it you're gonna use might be figured out more when you're closer to making the job. To better handle that, we've uh, brought the concept of materials to Fulcrum. This includes a new materials database. When this goes live in the system, you'll have access to a preloaded collection of tens of thousands of different types of material with different forms, dimensions, and other properties. To get there, you wanna go on to items in inventory and navigate to materials. As you open up materials, you'll be able to see which types of materials are active, the material, the grade, the dimension. And as you click into the uh, material itself, you'll get a breakdown of what types of material are in stock, what size they are, how many you have, as well as clicking vendors is gonna show you where you buy this from typically, the lead time and the cost. Currently materials are available for aluminum and steel. We're gonna be adding more to that database, more types and forms as we move forward. If you're interested in joining the beta or just wanna learn more in general about this feature, reach out to your account manager for more information. What this is also allowing us to do is track remnants after a job has already ran. For example, you run a job, there's a piece that's left over or a drop, we can now add that back into inventory in Fulcrum and you can reference it and use it on a future job. On the job tracking interface, you'll notice a new section under the complete tab that says remnants. What this is doing is it's gonna automatically calculate based on the material that you've signified you're using on the job and what you've consumed on it, how much Fulcrum estimates is left over. Should you use more or less than what the estimate is, you can manually override that to make the update. What this is gonna allow you for is to have a clear picture of what's in inventory and the exact dimensions of what's in there. In addition to adding remnants, we've also redone the complete tab on the job tracking interface. View this as the operator scorecard at the end of their operation. They can see what percent of the materials they've picked, how much time they've logged, any in-process inspection points that they completed or left blank, and if they need to make any adjustments or changes from here, they can. We've also added a couple new things to the details tab, including an equipment section, which allows you to select which piece of equipment the job is gonna run on, as well as the entire routing of the job, giving you insight into exactly where the job has been, where it is now and where it's gonna be. If we go to the operator's personal profile page, we'll be able to see which operations they're currently running or paused at, as well as edit any of today's timers. That's all we have for job tracking for now. Up next, there's some work order improvements. We'll see you next time.